The Travel Transformation Podcast is proud to be partnered with Give the Goodness Global, an amazing global outreach project helping families in need all over Southeast Asia and beyond. Please check them out at instagram.com forward slash give the goodness global today. And now on to the podcast episode. Welcome to the Travel Transformation Podcast, where we talk all things travel and all things transformation, exploring the life-changing potential of solo travel, intentional travel, and location-independent working. Whether you're an aspiring digital nomad or simply wish to boost your confidence through epic travel experiences, I'm here to motivate and inspire you to go after all your wildest dreams. I'm Jessica Grace Coleman, author, certified travel coach, founder of the Travel Transformation Company, and your host for the Travel Transformation Podcast. Travel changed my life. Now let's change yours. You ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Travel Transformation Podcast, where we talk all things travel and all things transformation. I'm your host, Jessica Grace Coleman, though you can call me Jess, and today will just be a quick solo episode on how life should be more like a movie. Now, I know that generally life isn't like a movie, but I've always thought it should be, at least more like a movie and um, hopefully not a horror. (laughs) Just more excitement, more stakes, more adventure, more fun, more meaning, all that good stuff. And do you know the best way to make your life seem more like a movie? Yeah, you probably guessed it, travel. If you're traveling to new places, seeing amazing sights, meeting incredible people, and just doing fun new things all the time, your life is automatically going to feel more interesting, more exciting, more rich, and more cinematic. It's why I love equating our lives to films or to novels, like in my Write Your Life book. After all, our lives are our own to write. We're the authors. Whether we're writing a dramatic novel or a screenplay for an epic movie, we are the ones wielding the pen or the keyboard. And let's not forget, we are the main characters of our own movie, whether we feel like it sometimes or not. At least we should be. That is the whole point. Now, I do a lot of content around this. Um, Well, some of it is around how life should be more like a movie. Some of it is around how it should be more like a novel. But I kind of think that's the same thing. As I said, my whole Write Your Life book is all about writing yourself into the novel of your life, because that is basically what our lives are. They're a blank book, blank novel, waiting to be written. And every day is a new blank page that we get to write whatever we want on. I know someone who refers to their age, for instance, in chapters, as in I'm starting chapter 45 today, which I love. I also love the idea that we can turn the page on whatever story we're in the middle of currently and write something totally new, something totally different, changing the entire plot whenever we want. Now, I know it sometimes doesn't feel like we can do that, like we have the ability, but really when you think about it, yes, we do. We do have that ability. We just need to change our mindset around it. If you think you can't turn the page and write a new story for yourself, maybe you need to do some mindset work first. So definitely check out my book, Write Your Life, The Ultimate Life Hack for Achieving Your Dreams, if you like this idea, and I'll put the link in the show notes as well. But I particularly love comparing our life to a movie because I love the cinematic nature of films. I love going to the cinema, I love watching the trailers, I love the giant screen and the surround sound and the dramatic music and everything. I've talked about this book a lot on the podcast, but one of my favourite non-fiction titles is A Million Miles in a Thousand Years by Donald Miller, where he talks about creating inciting incidents in your life as if you were writing a screenplay. Now, amazing things do sometimes just happen to us out of the blue, but most of the time we have to go out there and make things happen for ourselves. We have to create our own inciting incidents, like signing up for a challenge or committing to getting fitter or asking that person out on a date, or going for that new job, or going on an epic travel adventure. Now, I just love this whole topic so much. So I wanted to record this episode because I've recently started making mini movie trailers on my social media. Just ones that are under 60 seconds, so they fit as reels and TikTok videos and YouTube shorts, and I'm having a lot of fun doing them. When I was in sixth form, I took media studies, And for my final project, we had to film and edit a movie trailer. And I did it with my friend Susie and our friend Sarah. And I made one called The Lesser of Two Evils. It was a horror, because I'm into horrors. Not so much these days, since living alone, I uh, stopped watching them so much. But um, it was a horror, and it was so fun to film and edit. 
and I actually got an A star in that class and I even won the Media Studies Award for the year. So it's safe to say it was a pretty good trailer, at least for a 17 year old in high school. (laughs) So I love movies, I love watching movie trailers at the cinema. If I go to the see something at the cinema, I always make sure I get there in time for the trailers. I'm not one of these people who are like, oh, I'll just get there when the film's on. I really wanted to sit there in the movie theatre, in the cinema, and watch all the trailers. And I've always loved doing that. So I loved that project. And, you know, sometimes we just need to remind ourselves of the things we love doing. So I rediscovered my love of editing video, but this time on TikTok and Instagram, instead of using fancy video editing software and I began creating my movie trailer travel tips. Now, I started by doing some location-based trailers, like Colmar in Switzerland I've been to recently, and then I moved to attraction-based trailers, like the Paris Catacombs, and now I'm working on all kinds of trailers, so trailers to inspire solo and intentional travel, trailers with tips on where to go and what to see, and trailers for my own products and services, all under the guise of fun movie trailers. Uh, The next one I'm going to do is going to be for Give the Goodness Global, which is the charity I'm partnered with. I've asked Cody to send me some videos so I can create one for him. And I just really love them. They're so fun. The one I posted most recently was called Co-Living Days, um, like D-A-Z-E, but, you know, referring to my co-living days. And I create a little movie poster and then I create like a trailer with like captions and I pick a piece of music that I think is perfect for it. And I just did one, uh, the co-living days had uh, Blake Shelton, the song Friends, which was actually from the soundtrack to the movie Angry Birds. So movie related again, but it's just a really fun, happy song. And I just chose clips of really fun, happy looking people, people smiling, people doing fun things, people dancing. And I put it together and I had such great feedback from all my co-living buddies who were in that video and also other people who just said that this video looks full of joy it makes it made them want to want to go to a co living and stuff like that so it's all about inspiring people to get out there try new things go traveling whether that's to a certain place or whether it's um I did another one called go solo so about solo travel um inspiring you to go solo traveling if you're if you're waiting around for people to go with and you don't have anyone to go with it's all about choosing yourself and going yourself because you'll have a great time so i've been having a great time making these movie trailers. And if you want to see them, then please follow me on Instagram and TikTok to be the first to see my new movie trailers. On Instagram, I'm at Travel Transformation Coach. On TikTok, I'm at Travel Transformation because (laughs) Travel Transformation Coach didn't fit on the um, number of characters I was allowed. I'm also posting them on my Facebook page, which is the Travel Transformation Coach, and a short on my YouTube channel, which is at Travel Transformation Coach, but I'll put all these links in the show notes as well. Now, another thing I talk about in my content to do with film is my magical movie moments. And you can get a guide on creating your own magical movie moments when you sign up to my Travel Transformation Academy, which you can do at traveltransformationcoach.com forward slash academy. And I also did a whole podcast episode about this. So if you don't want to go to the academy, you can check out episode 62, How to Create Magical Movie Moments on the Road. So please check that out if you haven't already. I also talk about this in my book, Intentional Travel Transformation. I have a whole chapter on it. Sorry for the interruption, but I just have to tell you about Give the Goodness Global, an incredible global outreach project run by American veteran Cody Grannon. Cody is passionate about helping those in need all over the world, whether it's raising money for a specific family he's met while traveling in Southeast Asia, giving food and supplies to people who would otherwise go without, or simply donating his time to help wherever help is needed. Please check out instagram.com forward slash give the goodness global to find out more, to donate money to their current cause, or to buy Give the Goodness Global merch, all the profits of which go straight back to helping those in need. Plus, 10% of all profits from Jessica Grace Coleman's book, Intentional Travel Transformation, are donated to this brilliant cause. You can find out more about this at traveltransformationcoach.com forward slash books. So remember, be kind and give the goodness always. Thank you. And now back to the Travel Transformation Podcast. Okay, so... Another fun exercise I have in my academy is the movie poster of your life exercise. And I thought I'd include it here because it can be a really, really fun thing to do, especially if you're doing it with some like-minded friends. Now, this is part of my Flip the Script Framework course, again, available in the academy, traveltransformationcoach.com forward slash academy. 
So I'm just going to do it here because I, I think it's a really fun exercise and I don't talk about it enough. So if you're more of a movie buff than a bookworm, this is the exercise for you. Basically, we're going to get your creative juices flowing and design a movie poster for your life. But actually, we're going to do two. One for your life now, as it is now, and one for your life as you'd like it to be in the future. Now, to do this, you can use a free piece of software like Canva. I'm obsessed with Canva. I pay for the premium package, but you can use the free version. Uh, that's just canva.com. Or you can just draw it yourself on a piece of paper or use Photoshop or use whatever you use creating graphics if you do that kind of thing. Okay, so take your life as it is now, today, and ask yourself the following questions. What genre would your life be if it were a film? What title would you give it? What image would you use? What tagline? Would it be an epic adventure or a subdued drama? A comedy? A rom-com? A tragedy? A bright, bold musical or a dark, chilling horror? What would its main theme be? What fonts would you use? What vibe would the poster give off? And how many stars would you give it out of five? And be honest here, how are things really going in your life right now? For instance, if you were doing this a few years ago, because I, I came up with this a couple of years ago, um, and this is the example I gave, I'm sure a lot of our posters would have looked the same, unless you were on the front line during the pandemic, in which case I bow down to you. Thank you very, very much. But for most people who were stuck at home, um, this is the thing I thought of for the movie poster. So the title would be something like pandemic with an exclamation point in giant blood red letters, capital letters, or maybe slime green letters or something like that. Something horror. Perhaps the exclamation point in the title would be a vaccination needle. I don't know, get creative with this. The image might be of you sitting on the sofa in your living room, staring at your phone or your TV, looking bored out of your mind. Maybe eating the banana bread that you baked. <laughs> Maybe watching Tiger King. You remember those days? The tagline could be something like, you thought the end of the world would be more exciting. One star. <laughs> so feel free to use humour in your posters, because when you think about it, life is pretty random and it, it can be pretty funny if you allow yourself to put it in that lens. I know the pandemic wasn't funny, but you know, these is kind of how we deal with some of this stuff. So once you've got your poster, I want you to make another one, this time for the life you want to have. Now this is your dream life, what you would love to have in your life, what you'd love to be doing, maybe career-wise, where you want to be living, what you want to be earning. I don't know, just imagine your dream life. And I've got loads and loads of um, exercises on how to design your dream life in my academy. Again, I'll put the link in the show notes if anyone's interested in that. Okay, so for your dream life, for your poster, how would the genre change? How would the title change, the image, the tagline, the overall vibe and the star rating? And obviously the star rating will be five because this is going to be your dream life. So perhaps you want to go solo traveling. So your poster might be an image of you standing on a mountain, smiling at the beautiful sunset, happening in front of you and looking utterly content. It could be called The Day I Conquered the Mountain or something equally as cheesy with a tagline like she believed she could, so she did. Even if she was knackered afterwards. Five stars. <laughs> um, you could even add like a review, like would watch again. Uh, just get creative and have fun with this because that's exactly what life should be like, creative and fun. If it's not, you need to change the movie poster of your life, my friend, and you need to start right now. So once you've finished, you can compare the two and perhaps even put them in, on your wall. You can print them out from Canva, put them on your wall, a vision board if you have it, on your desktop background, on your phone background, whatever you want, giving you something to aim for and reminding yourself of what kind of life you actually want to lead and the kind you don't. Obviously, I know it's not that easy to change your life around completely, believe me, I have first-hand experience in how hard it is, but I'm also proof that it can be done. That's exactly what I did when I started my Flip the Script on Fear Challenge, which you can read about all in my book, Intentional Travel Transformation. So use this exercise and use the poster that you finish with as a motivational tool to make you get out of bed every day and go and pursue your dreams. Because unlike the movie posters in this exercise, we only get one life, as far as I know. YOLO, etc., etc. I'm sorry, I can't say YOLO with a straight face. Anyway, I really hope you do this exercise because it's really fun and it can get you thinking about what you want in life. And if you do do the exercise, please let me know and I'd love to see your movie posters. You can email me at info at traveltransformationcoach.com or you can DM me at traveltransformationcoach on Instagram. So what do you say? 
Let's go out there and let's make sure we're the main character in the movie of our lives. And let's make our movie an epic film full of adventure, excitement and purpose. Because why not? As I say often in the Academy, life is short, so let's make sure it's nothing short of amazing. Thank you for listening, and until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you for listening to the Travel Transformation Podcast with me, Jessica Grace Coleman. If you enjoyed this episode, I would really appreciate it if you could please subscribe, rate and review, and spread the word, because it's my mission to help as many people as possible to flip the script on their lives and transform through travel. And remember, life is short, so let's make sure it's nothing short of amazing. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.